Hey there, friends and family. This is Pastor Vince. It's Wednesday, December 7th, 2022. And it's a Wednesday afternoon as I make this recording. And I just wanted to share this with you. I was impressed to share this with you all really quick. I just want to spend a few minutes. And that is one of the topics that is constantly debated within the body of Christ, within the Christian church, amongst Christians all over the world, is the topic of the Sabbath. Should we still keep the Sabbath? Was the Sabbath done away with? Oh, the Sabbath was an Old Testament thing. Oh, the Sabbath was for the Jews. So many different sides or, or different um, uh, uh, different opinions, if you will, uh, from that side of the argument. But then there's the other side of the argument. Well, yes, we should still keep the Sabbath. Uh, Jesus kept the Sabbath. Um, the Old and the New Testament speak of the Sabbath and so forth. So all I'm saying is that the Sabbath will be debated until Jesus comes. It will remain a hot topic, if you will, within the Christian church. So again, you've got two sides of the argument. And I just wanted to share this with you today. Again, it's Wednesday, December 7th, 2022. The Lord laid this on my heart to share this with you right now. So here we go. This comes from the devotional called Our High Calling by Ellen G. White. And this is actually from from December 5th uh, devotional. It's a devotional, Our High Calling. It's from December 5th, but this is applicable any day of the week. So I just want to share this with you today on the 7th of December. This is called A Distinct and Peculiar People. Again, this is from the devotional, Our High Calling by Ellen G. White. A Distinct and Peculiar People. Our Bible verse is Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Now, did you recognize this is from the book of Revelation? We know that the book of Revelation is found where? In the New Testament. So, again, the Sabbath is spoken about in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And this verse happens comes from the book of Revelation. Anyway, Revelation 14 and 12, I'll say it again. I'll read it again. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Revelation 14 and 12. God's people are to be distinguished as a people who serve him fully, wholeheartedly, taking no honor to themselves and remembering that by a most solemn covenant, they have bound themselves to serve the Lord and him only. The children of Israel were to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a, quote, for a perpetual covenant. That comes from Exodus 31 and 16. So there we go. There's an Old Testament scripture, an Old Testament verse, Exodus 31 and 16. So far, we've got a new, we've got an old. The Sabbath has lost none of its meaning. It is still the sign between God and his people, and it will be so forever. Now and ever, we are to stand as a distinct and peculiar people, free, free from all worldly policy, unembarrassed by confederation with those who have not wisdom to discern, uh, to discern the claims of God so plainly set forth in his law. Now, that's another discussion. Should we still keep the law? Has the law been, done, has the law been done away with? Okay, we're not going to go there right now, but let me finish reading. We are to show that we are seeking to work in harmony with heaven in preparing the way of the Lord. We are to bear witness to all nations, kindreds, and tongues that we are a people who love and fear God, a people who keep holy the seventh-day Sabbath, and we are to show plainly that we have full faith that the Lord is soon to come in the clouds of heaven. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants, sh and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. That comes from Revelation 22, verses 3 and 4. Who are these? God's denominated people. Those who on this earth have witnessed to their loyalty. Who are they? Those who have kept the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. 
those who have owned the crucified one as their savior. All there shall be, I'm sorry, and there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Verse 5 of, of the Revelation. Uh, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. From verse 14. Again, I just read for you from a distinct and peculiar people from the devotional Our High Calling by Ellen G. White. So friends, uh, there you have it, as they say, uh, there you have it. I said in the beginning, there's two sides of the argument. We don't have to keep the Sabbath anymore. It's been done away with. That's Old Testament law, etc., etc., etc. But then there's the other side, which tells us, which proves from the Bible that we should still keep the Sabbath. So based on what I just read for you just now, I'm going to let you make your decision. I'm going to let you spend time with the Lord. I'm going to let you pray about it so you have an understanding of where you should be, what side you should be on. So I'm not going to tell you what side you should be on. I'm going to let you make that determination when, after you spend time with the Lord and as he directs you and guides you, okay? But from his word, I just read several verses for, uh, for you from the Old and the New Testament. So that's all I want to share with you, friend. Thank you for this time. Have a blessed rest of your week. And remember, we will come together on our YouTube channel this Friday, which will be December 9th, for our uh, teaching series, my teaching series, the third lesson in my teaching series. And this lesson, I'll tell you right now, is called The Plan of Salvation. You don't want to miss it. The Plan of Salvation. All right. Have a great rest of your week. And by God's grace, we'll see you on our YouTube channel this Friday evening, December 9th, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care.